शांति बिगिन विद कंटेम्प्लेशन दैट द बॉडी विल लास्ट एंड द माइंड स्टेल मेरी Bring all the energy to the center of the body. Feel your own peace. Experience tranquility. of the world and i return to the source i the soul playing my part through this physical body Soul at peace, and I hold a pure state of mind. I let my energy flow from within outwardly. my pure positive feeling flow outward i am a divine being your soul and i let this energy of purity flow outwards to all things and all people Hold on to this pure and positive state of mind. I only see the good in everyone. let this pure thoughts and positive feelings I 
let your thoughts and positive feelings be the foundation of my interaction. Happy Monday, folks, and welcome to South Florida, Miami. As we have headed into the middle of August, we find that we have a lot of rain. We're getting into the avocado season soon, for those of you who love avocados. Do you love avocado, BJ? So this is VJ, and I'm Dave, and VJ has give, given us such a deep thought, a mindful meditation, a meditation first to relax, a meditation which slows down our thoughts. During the process of meditation, we think less, we think deeper, we slow down and a lot of time we are overthinking we are thinking about others then we started to get these thoughts so vj so uh how is um how many thoughts did you have for the day <laughs> uh well the best thought was the avocado thought so far um but I was, uh, you know, as we meditated, I felt that really within each one of us, there's a pure place, um, a positive place. If you remember your childhood, or you remember some time when you're completely happy, we all have that pure sanctuary within our beings. And uh, when we re go to that place, and you let your thoughts and feelings flow from that place. It's easy to hold a positive attitude and a positive view of the world. So you're saying that we have to train ourselves? Um, I think training. Is, a, is it a training? Is it a practice? I think training is a good word. We need to train our minds because in the past we have allowed the mind to run free, go wherever it likes. Um, you know, in does get so you know you don't want your mind to have freedom. That we say I want it to be free, but not run free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you want it to be free, but not run, run away. That yes, say. not yeah. run away. So <laughs> it should be free to go where I want it, when I want it, for how long I want it. Yeah, but that, that reminds me of a dog. You know, when I'm on a leash. <laughs> you let him run, but you have a... Yes, right. You, <laughs> you let him run. You want him to be free, but you still want to manage where he runs and what he wants too. So I think the mind does like it can get used to a more quiet, positive, pure approach to self and others. Um, but we probably need to slow it down. I think slowing down is an important uh, part of this training. And yes, we should train our mind. We train everything else. Oh, mind training. Mind training, yeah. Okay. So in, in this process of, uh, of thinking, uh, meditation is a thinking process. Meditation is slowing down that thinking process, slowing down the amount of thoughts we have. And, you know, during the day we find ourselves thinking, thinking about others. We think about somebody who might have said something not so nice to me, somebody who might have said something not so nice to someone else, or they might just be a loud mouth in the room. Well, <laughs> this is freedom, right? Let them be free. <laughs> Give them freedom. Let them run wherever they wish to go. Uh, but I should maintain some kind of self-control 
in order that I can maintain my own safety and my own positive state of mind. So I can be free to be positive. I think freedom is a little deceptive in that if I allow my own mind to go wherever it wants, free, then when I actually want to get some work done, or I want to focus, or I want to concentrate, the mind is no longer free to obey me because it's too free doing other things. So you want you want a um, measured freedom of the mind. That's probably measured freedom. Yeah. Measured so we could we can measure our quality of thoughts. What quality of thoughts we have, which we because thought is energy, and energy when you have that. Uh, quality of thoughts, I mean you have quality of energy, mm -hmm. uh, good quality of energy, positive quality of energy. When you start thinking about others, you start thinking about their weaknesses, you know, all the things which was, you know, which is not so nice about them. I mean, the, the interesting thing is that if you are able to maintain your own positive outlook, you don't have to think about others because they will be happy. You don't have to think how they will act, how they will react, whether they receive this good or they receive this bad, because you are giving your best. You give a pure feeling, you have a positive attitude, you appreciate everything, you know, and you let it go. So you allow people to be free, and I don't even have to think what they think or what they will do or how they view the situation. Because I have already managed myself and kept as best I can my own mind positive and pure feeling. And so, you know, like, you know, in Trinidad, and now Trinidad, Trinidad has a lockdown again for the next 28 days. And Trinidad had an um, had election last Monday, um, and there was a lot of uh, conflicts going on. Um, it's a good time to to have good feelings and pure feeling for everyone. And yeah, I mean, you know, there's all kinds of competition. There are conflict, there are games, you know, sporting games. I mean, you well, they can't down. have any sporting games. Okay. We have a lockdown. You didn't hear me. Oh, sorry. That's okay. why you can't go back home. I mean, the election <laughs> is a kind of, a, you know, a contest between one group and another group. There's always winners and there's always losers. Whatever the situation is, I mean, sometimes people feel that the, the, you know, the game has not been fair or the referee was not perfect. Yeah, I mean, there are so many variables. First thing is, manage yourself. Before we try to manage other people and other situations, manage yourself. In other words, keep a pure outlook. Go in, within, re, refine, rediscover, uncover your own perfection. That quiet, lovely place that you were born in, you know, when you were a baby. It might be hard for you to remember, right? Well, I mean, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too long ago yes, to remember. Right. Way but, back then. Uh, you know, remember that, that that time when we were kids and you really had that pure, happy place. So that's the foundation from where we start. And then, I mean, my own experience is that if your own mind is happy and positive, then you are better able to deal with any situation you want to. So we can rejuvenate and restore the pure being within us. Yes, I think that would be a great place to start. And when when that happens, right? What happens? So you know, how do I feel when I have that that kind of um, rejuvenating and restorative? Well, I was saying feeling. remember your childhood days, but that seemed to be too far. <laughs> Too far for you to remember. I mean, but long time ago. Remember sometime when you were happy, or any happy moment. I mean, sometimes we are with family, and the time you know just goes like that. It passes so quickly. Those are the times when the soul is full. It is positive. It is happy. It is content. It is it is good in its own place. Um, we let go of that that state of my own contentment by worrying too much about other things, other people, other situations. As you said, let them be free. <laughs> let them be free to be. Let them be free to be whatever they want. My responsibility is to keep my own self positive, at least to start. And then hopefully when I manage myself, 
I will be in a better position to help other people manage themselves. Yes, and, and when uh, you are in that place, in that posture, let's say it's a seat, you know, you sit in a, when you sit in a seat, you sit in a seat of compassion, mm -hmm. of self thinking, thinking about the self and compassion for others. And when you have these kinds of positive feeling, it creates an impact uh, on other people around you. Uh, the other day somebody was talking about how important it is to to uh, unite with nature. And there was a tree hugging. <laughs> People well, are making up with the trees. Yeah, you know, they chop down all the trees and, and they're hugging the trees. But I mean, that's great because you can't hug other people now. This is COVID. It might even be illegal to hug other people. But I, I think they haven't outlawed hugging trees as yet, yeah? have they? <laughs> so, hug the trees. So, thinking all these negative thoughts about others, because a lot of time our our mind, uh, we we uh, we get so much caught up with with situation, events, other people, position, and, and what they're thinking, what they're feeling, and we forget that I am most important for me. Mm -hmm. uh, who are the most important person for, uh, for yourself? Yes, I was thinking too that I could practice with a tree. So, for example, I could practice having a positive thought to the tree. And if I can manage having positive thoughts for the tree, similarly I could have positive thoughts for other people. What do you think about that? Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's a good analysis. <laughs> so, um, let's, um, you know, start thinking, start slowing down our thought process, start doing something, start training, I would say, start training the mind, training your thoughts to be slower, calmer, uh, rejuvenate, restore that inner being within you, which is full of peace and purity, and as we find joy in the journey. Mm -hmm. I was, yes, I was saying that um, uh, trees are wonderful, the place to start, but people are more important than trees. And it really is worthwhile to invest in your own peace and your own positive nature and your own compassion that you can donate it to other people. People really need compassion. Sometimes we think that they are doing wrong or they are being bad or they are being negative. But they really need compassion. They need care. They need love or they need, you know, they need some support. And sometimes, sometimes, some of those negative behaviors are, are a sign saying, help, I, somebody pay attention to me, I need help. So, you know, go into the depth of your own compassion, your own pure thinking. Um, yes, indeed. Feelings. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the meantime, as we find joy in our journey, let's have pure feelings and great thoughts for others. So until then, have a wonderful weekend. Please join us every day around this time in Miami Brahma Kumari's Meditation Center has lovely teachers every evening around this time, 6.30. So join us again and find joy in the journey. Goodbye.